Right, less than two days to go now until the Solheim Cup gets underway. It is the start of a feisty fortnight of golfing action between Europe and the USA with the Ryder Cup to follow. And let's cross to Andalusia now. We can join Jamie Weir, who is with a four-time winner. Good afternoon to you, Jamie. Good afternoon to you, Joe. Yeah. Dame Laura's just chatting away to somebody else there. Good afternoon to you, Joe. Yes, Dame Laura alongside me, who's got two hats on this week. She is a vice captain of the European team. She's also working for us. Of course, are you okay there? Or do you want to chat no, away you're to right. Bob? It's okay, all good. That's, that's all good. good. Um, let, let's start by talking about uh, Charlie Hull, who you were out with today. She says to me she's swinging at 80%. Is that a bit of a concern? Is that a bit of a question mark over Charlie, or will she be fine? No, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. It's um, She's had a bit of treatment. Charlie at 80%, I'll take any day, to be honest with you, yeah. but she'll be 100. Once you, once you get there f for real, tomorrow she'll probably, you know, just play nine again and just keep it easy, as most of them will. But no, she'll she'll be fine. There's nothing wrong. I mean, I say there's nothing wrong. She's got a stiff neck. I mean, yeah. we all know what it's like, but yeah. it certainly won't affect her play during the matches. Yeah, Charlie Holland, 80% is still a pretty decent pretty player. Good. Yeah. Um, let's uh, take us inside the team room. I know there's some secrets you can't give away, but just give us an idea of what the atmosphere is like this week. We saw the captain singing along at the top of her lungs to Tina Turner and dancing in a tea box earlier on today. I mean, she, she seems to be the biggest live wire in the team, right? She really is. She's she's leading by example and everyone respects her. All the players, the younger players, they know what she's done in the game and certainly in the Solheim Cup. So uh, she sets the standards in everything this week and uh, yeah, great fun. You saw that. You saw and that's what it's like. She comes in wherever she goes, there's a music box going and she's she's choosing choosing the songs and yeah. no, it's great. But all the all the girls, I think they're really enjoying it. It's um it's quite hard for especially the ones that have not done it before because there's so much to do other than just get your game in shape. Yeah. Um, but they're learning as they go and uh, but I haven't had one person moan all week, which is always yeah. a good sign because sometimes you know you get a few people. Oh, we've got to do this. No, not one of them has done that. So really good atmosphere. And Suzanne has said on a number of occasions building up to the Solheim Cup that this is the strongest she can ever remember the European team being. You've been involved in pretty much every single European team since the, the dawn of the Solheim Cup. Would you go along with that? I really would. I think we always used to have, you know, Annika and and Suzanne and Yourself. Alfie, Lotta, yeah, myself. Ali Nicholas. We used to have those six or seven that were world class playing in America. And then obviously because the, the rest of the team was made up with European tour players that didn't play, you know, out on the LPJ, it wasn't their weaker players, but they weren't experienced playing mm -hmm. against the very best players in the world week in, week out like we were. And I think that was the advantage we have had uh, the advantage the Americans had then. But now you know, our 12 players all play in America, all very comfortable playing up there with the big guns week in, week out. And um, like I said, it's, it's a really well even match team from 1 to 12. And I'm not sure we've ever had that before. And they all seem to be like fierce match play competitors yeah. as well and uh, look at the way Suzanne like filled out her side with her captain's picks like picking people like Emily Pedersen and Caroline Hedvall and then you've already got people on the team obviously like Charlie and Celine Boutier Georgia like they all just relish in this format yeah absolutely and match play brings out a little bit different personality in people I always found that you you know you're just trying to get it round sometimes in stroke play yeah. you get to match play and you've got the Americans the opposition as much as we respect them we really want to beat them and it just brings a really good side out in people, I think. And we've got very aggressive young players that love making birdies. And let's talk a bit about the course itself. The, the sun has actually just ducked behind a cloud good, for a moment. Hot. I know because it's what, 10 past two here. It's pretty hot. Is fatigue going to be a factor? Because this horse course is very hilly, as you can probably tell from the spectacular views behind us. Is going five sessions going to be possible? I think it, poss it, it, it there's a possibility possibly for a couple of the younger players maybe that that most of them have kind of ruled themselves out. I'd love to go five but I'm you know Sunday's so important. You yeah. can't have people turning up Sunday morning tired. So if anyone's on a really good roll and they fancy it but I I, I can tell you 10 have ruled themselves out. So there's a couple that right. maybe go maybe go all five matches but I'll be honest I doubt it because of, again because of the strength of the 12 right. we've got do we it's need, to, like flog need to lean on someone? We don't exactly. need to flog anybody. And it is a hell of a walk around here. And you've got to think of the caddies too. Right. They're not just walking it. They're lumping 50 pounds. Although we can take a lot of stuff out because all the helpers can take bits and pieces. It's hard for them as well. And they have to be strong and mentally ready. It is a great match play course, isn't it? Though There's some holes which are just properly risk or reward. It's going to be great drama. Well, the f I think if you come to the Solheim Cup, do not miss the first hole because that's yeah. where it's all going to happen. It's a drivable par four. We hear the wind's going to turn down. So you, people are going to definitely be able to carry. At the moment, probably just the longer ones can make it yeah and it's just going to be a really good because the stats in the solheim if you win the first hole you've got a right. very high winning percentage so it could be a pivotal hole but it's going to be a fun hole the huge grandstand yeah. the galleries will be pumped up and ready so 
Yeah, I'd be at the first if I was watching. Just very finally, you mentioned the huge grandstand behind the first. Cast your mind back 33 years to Lake Nona in 1990, the first ever Solheim Cup. Just how much has this event grown exponentially since then? Well, I reckon there was eight players on each team, a captain. I don't think the captain had a vice captain. Right. You had 16 caddies with the two teams, maybe 100 people watching, yeah. possibly a few handheld cameras. And now look at it. It's one of the world's best sporting events, men's or women's. I'll put this up against, I mean, the Ryder Cup and this. I, I've, I've covered the Ryder Cup now, and, and, and I don't feel there's a huge amount of difference. Maybe in the practice rounds, not as many people, but come the tournament days, I can't see much difference in it. You still love it just as much. Oh, even it's great you're fun. Even now collecting bananas for players. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, I've, I've got more responsibilities. Bananas, um, peaches, water, oh, wow. whatever they want. So whatever whatever the, the team needs. promotion this year. With it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was just on banana duty before, and I've been upgraded. Fantastic. Look, it's going to be absolutely fantastic week. We cannot wait for it. Less than 48 hours to go now. Both teams shaping up really nicely. They've been out practicing earlier today. Now the midday heat has arrived. They've taken shelter in the shade. We might do the same. Uh, brilliant stuff, Jamie. Thank you very much.